Alright, let's get this started. I know you can hear the shadow theme. Throw it all away in the background. Now, reason why I'm, I was playing the song at the beginning was that I'm here to review the Jazzwares Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh my gosh. Next to um, Game Pros, Game Pro Joyrides Shadow, this is the best shadow figure ever made. It's only con is standing loose joints. Look at this leg. This guy, but look, it's like a puppet. Lops. Anyway, a little backstory on Shadow. Yeah, I'm smart. Shadow debuted in Sonic Adventure 2 for the Dreamcast. He was introduced as Sonic's rival for the game. But you know, bonding a friend relationship near the end. He originally he was awakened by Dr. Eggman slash Robotnik and you know a secret base and he promised to grant him one wish and you know and you know in order to do it he he needs to find find he needs to find seven chaos emeralds uh, along with get the military right. off his back yeah. so the dumb people, stupid, idiotic citizens, mistaken them for Sonic. Oh my gosh. When they framed Sonic, I was like, what the? He doesn't even look... He looks sort of like Sonic. If you see a shadow of him, not telling about the name. You know, if you see a shadow of him or just see him in smoke, he may look like Sonic, but... Look at this dude. His quills and ears and nose and eyes, gloves, and you know, body, you know, and you know, thinness looks like Sonic, but it isn't Sonic. Ugh, those dumb people. They're especially stupid in Sonic X. Oh my gosh. Why? Even my brother. My five-year-old brother with, you know, since he's very behind and, you know, learning and all. You can tell the difference between Sonic and Shadow. A five-year-old with a mind like a three-year-old can tell the difference between Sonic and Shadow. And then Sonic Adventure. These dumb humans couldn't tell the difference. Oh, come on. Voice actor. Shadow was first voiced by... David Humphrey, who did an amazing performance from Sonic Adventure 2 up until Sonic Heroes. <sighs> Man. But, what some of you Sonic fans who don't look at the voice actor are saying, why was Humphrey recasted? War Kids. They dubbed Sonic X, as you may know. And they used, like, you know, they, Ryan Drummond, who voiced Sonic in the early game series, was willing to go to four kids to voice Sonic. He had a passion. But, they declined him because he couldn't go to New York. Which, you know, lots of four, almost every four kids actor is from New York. Every four kids actress from New York, I'm always like <clears throat> Mike Pollock, Amy Ben, I can't pronounce her last name, Lisa Orts, Maddie Blowstein, he slash she is dead. No, he she, he was a it was originally a he, but he turned into a she. But he got to play male roles such as Meowth and E One Two Three Omega, and what else? Uh, other four kids actors from New York, Jason Griffith, of course. Um, what else? Um, like um, Sean Schimmel and all those guys from New York. Now, what? How did Griffith voice Sonic and Shadow? 
Well, they were dubbing Sonic X. He auditioned for Chris Thorndike. <sighs> Not a big fan of Chris. Almost no one's a big fan of Chris Thorndike. I'm not a big fan of him, uh, and, and all that, but, yeah, he auditioned for Chris, and the guy who was holding the audition, who was from Sega, said he sounded more like Sonic, so he should try out for that role, and Griffith got to play his favorite video game character. I feel good for the guy. And then, later, an engineer, a recording engineer, asked him if he could try out for Shadow since, well, Shadow and Sonic had similar voices, but Shadow was more of a darker version of Sonic. So he tried it, tried to sound like David Humphrey, and he got it. The only time I didn't like Griffith as Shadow was Sonic and Black Light like the I am so Lancelot. But oh well, I guess it was okay because he tried to sound more medieval. But yeah. But now the reason why I wanna the reason why, you know, he was Sonic in the he was Shadow in the first place is well when Ryan when they were casting for Sonic and Shadow and Sonic Adventure two David Humphrey, you know, was a colleague of Ryan Drummond. Sega asked Drummond if he knew anyone with a similar voice, and he thought, and he said, you know, his colleague, David Humphrey, and Humphrey got the role. Oh, man, I've been going over seven minutes about dang history of the character. What's going on with the figure? Amazing detail. It's got the red and black quills. He's got his inhibitor rings. His inhibitor rings. He's got his sh nice rollerblading shoes. Nah, he's got his gloves. He's got the white the white fur on his chest. He's got his red eye. Red eyes. He's got a he doesn't have a smile, has more of a frown, which Shadow is usually a grumbly mood, you know, you know, he's been dealing, like, like, you know, his Marie, his, his human companion, Maria, was shot, shot in the gun, but, you know, by gun, you know, that, that army, that military gun that was in Sonic Adventure and Shadow the Hedgehog. And, you know, the Shadow clone he was in, he's looking for his past and all, and, well, it's pretty much gloomy. So Shadow's not much of a happy person. Just like, you know, so, what would be stupid is having a Shadow figure smiling smiling that's not what a shadow figure needs and I'm glad Jazz Wars didn't do something like that I like, you know having doing having him doing an evil smile is okay but you know a regular smile is just not natural for a shadow toy which I'm thankful Jazz Wars didn't do that yeah he got the back of his quills. They're not like, you know, all in one place like Sonic. And look. He looks exactly the way he did in Sonic Adventure 2 and onwards. The way Shadow's always looked. Basically. Man. Shadow would like to tell you, s introduce himself, introduce himself, and what's Shadow going, Shadow, introduce yourself.
Now say your name to the viewers, Shadow. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> oh, Shadow, don't you pull that on me. All right. Tell everyone. Tell everyone. Come on. Fine. My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. What 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 wish will you grant me? What wish will you grant me, Shadow? You're not telling me. Well, expect upcoming reviews this week. I'm expecting a package. And I'm expecting Tails and that Metal Sonic and Dr. Eggman 2-pack. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about Shadow is he doesn't stand very good. I get a stand. He doesn't stand too good either. He's got a floppy leg. Floppy. No. This is terrible. Look, like, the way he stands, even on my hand. He can't. Ugh, falls back. It's crap. The only way I can get him. The only way I can get that out of the way. The only way I can get him. Look. You see? Shadow falls down. See him? Oh, hey. And also his he te his rollerblade shoe gets to, tends to get out. Fuck. I just he does not stand well. At all. Just a warning. They need to make tighter joints. Look. Hey, he's standing. What in the world? Nah, no way. Well, guys, later. Next reveal will probably be on Knuckles. Or Amy. Or the warehog. So yeah, bye.